I'm gonna tell you the real secret about men going their own way. You gotta have heart. You can't have walls and you can't have armor going, you'll never come in. I will never let you in again. That unfortunately will keep people very lonely and cynical for the rest of their life. Okay, let's break it down. When she says, you got to have heart, she means men must be compassionate towards women. You need to care for women and be there for women. And by leaving people lonely, she is talking about women. You don't see men on TV saying that there are no women to marry. It is women who are out there crying for marriage, not men. And face it, this world is already hard as it is. So why the hell would you want to become a cynic? Why? So that you can survive? So that you can buy more cars, more stuff? And then what? And when you die, where does that go? What do you do with that stuff? Unto what? Oh, this is gold. Yeah, the world is hard. And despite that fact, men are still deciding to go their own way. So why do you care? This video shows exactly that when men go their own way, it is not men who suffer. Look at how she is trying to shame men for going their own way. Yes, madam, they are buying their cars, living their own lives. Why do you care? Live your life and let people live their lives. And they have this whole convention every year called the 21 Convention, where it's just teaching men how to be better, right? And on paper, that sounds great, right? That sounds like a great idea. But when it actually happens, when you see it, it's basically just a bunch of misogynistic dudes teaching other dudes how to treat women like shit. This idiot has no idea of what he is talking about. I actually did some research on that 21 Convention. And yeah, this idiot has absolutely no idea of what he is talking about. M-G-T-O-W, Mugtow, Mediocre Men to Optimum Women. <laughs> Insults are the arguments employed by those who are in the wrong. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. There is this extreme sense of MGTOW, and this is men who completely want to dissociate themselves from women altogether. They don't even want to communicate with any women, whether it be family, a neighbor, a friend. Once again, why do you care if a man decides not to interact with women? And right off the bat, I'm sure you guys can see why this is problematic. Instead of empowering women and being happy that women are being granted more rights when it comes to business, when it comes to politics, when it comes to all across the board, women are progressing. It is not progress when one side is granted something that the other side has to earn. And we've been progressing. Now, men in this community find that to be threatening, which is absurd to me because we still live in a patriarchal society. And even in 2021, being born as a man is literally giving you an advantage head start in life. So the fact that they're anti-feminist is already just so, so disappointing to me. Okay, yeah, they find that to be threatening. So they decided not to interact with women. So why in the name of sanity are you here talking about them? Leave your own life. Why are you here talking about people who have decided to remove themselves from whatever it is that this world is doing? Some men have decided to go their own way. So why do you care? Leave your life and let people live theirs. Be, I don't know, particularly scrutinizing when it comes to the type of women that they date. They no longer want to be considered the breadwinners, if you will, in their relationships. A lot of MGTOW men believe wholeheartedly in 50-50 relationships where both the man and woman carry equal weight in the relationship. A lot of these men are just absolutely refusing to give the time of day um, and validation, if you will, to women or putting them on a pedestal is what people like to call it. They don't want to put women on a pedestal and make them the prize anymore. They're no longer wanting to assume their natural masculine role of provider and caretaker in a way, as far as like providing for the household and all of that stuff. They feel as though they shouldn't have to do that because all of these women out here are gold diggers and they're only after their money. And the only way that they're going to settle down with the woman is if she's willing to stick in there and go 50-50. Or for some men, even her be the breadwinner so that he can sit at home on the couch. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you don't need women.
for anything really. But Jessica, what about love? Okay, here's the thing. Yes, I very much do believe that love is something natural we're all inclined to do. I do believe that love is the greatest thing on earth, but here's the thing. Love is not wanting. Love is not needing. Love in and of itself is giving. In fact, it's giving without expecting anything in return. Literally, when you truly love something, you don't motherfucking want anything in return or expect it or wait around for it and say, well, you know what? I did all this for you. So like, this is what you have to give me back. Or even, you know what? I like bought all these for you and you like don't put out ever. Hmm. So if you're in a state of like, oh, I don't get it. Like I did all these nice things for her. Like, uh, why won't she like come back around and like sit on my bean? If you really feel like you need her to reciprocate that badly, you need to take a look at yourself and and why you feel that. Oh boy. Is being stupid the new hype trendy thing? Ma'am, they are deciding to go their own way. Which means they understand all that crap and have decided to go their own way. Why are you talking about love when someone has already made the decision to go their own way? Men go their own way, or MGTOW, have sworn off women completely, saying their lives are better and more productive and fulfilling without women in their lives at all. <laughs> so are women's, which is basically, so are women's lives. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> but I mean, it's basically... It's, it's, oh, man, you got to give me a second to digest it's, that. It's basically, though, saying like... <laughs> it's basically like women saying like, we have no interest in you, and them going, uh, uh, oh yeah, well, we don't have any interest in you first. Yeah, buddy. It means more women for you. Nope, I'm being sarcastic. Buddy, crapping on other men is not going to increase your chances of getting laid. And the whole MGTOW movement usually came around, I think, around the Me Too movement. And the Me Too movement was obviously when women started talking about, you know, sexual assault and things like that. Now, some of them weren't telling the truth, which is really upsetting. However, we can't dismiss the truth based off the few that weren't telling the truth. And it's not fair, again, to put people in this box and have an extreme reaction to the ones and try and punish everyone for the few that actually were doing wrong. Oh, look at that. Men should not punish all women because of the few women who did wrong. But women don't feel any shame punishing all men because of the few men who did wrong. It is strange how women quickly change their point of view when the shoe is on the other foot. Okay. Okay, so here's my question to you. Now, from what I understand, men join MGTOW because they have a huge fear of being put in a situation where the legal system is uh, contributing to their pain, whether it's a fake rape or sexual assault allegation or being put in a situation where divorce is making you feel miserable emotionally, financially, or otherwise. See, <laughs> here's the thing though, like if you get to know a woman and you go on dates and you treat this woman with respect and she treats you back with respect because you chose a woman who has values first um, before choosing her on her appearance, let's say, or um, on how attractive she is in other ways. Um, if you choose someone for their values, meaning someone who's honest, someone who is humble, someone who believes in you know, respecting people, uh, respecting their opinions, why would you be afraid that this situation turns around into a legal life? Just look at how dismissive women can be when it comes to men problems. Oh no, you just chose wrong. Try again. Don't be so pessimistic. There are statistical evidence that show that over 70% of all divorces are filed by women, and that women are rarely legally prosecuted after making false allegations. So yeah, madam, you can go pound sand. Okay, after watching all these people, for one with a functional brain, one question should be asked. And that question is, why do you care? Why do you as a woman care that men are going their own way and faithful to female nature? They all try to shame those men who are going their own way. Why? This shows that when men go their own way, those who suffer are women. But since we live in a world that embolden entitlement and disrespect in women, they can't bring rational arguments so they result to insult and shaming tactics. But guess what? The fact that they are talking about it 
just shows that they care about it, and deep down, they all know that without men, they ain't shit. If not, why are they talking about men going their own way? Okay, let's not end this video like this. Let us hear from someone who actually has a brain. Came to my attention about a year ago about this new lifestyle that men are adapting called um, MGTOW. And it's, it stands for men going their own way. Now what this means is men of all backgrounds and all incomes are completely saying no to marriage, dating women in general, and then especially marriage and children. What? It's, it's a lot, okay? And if you guys don't understand how serious this is, this is probably one of the most detrimental things that has happened to any community, but especially, you know, me as a black woman in the black community. Now, for single women, this MGTOW movement means even the nice guys, as you guys like to call them, are completely saying no to marriage. They're saying no to relationships, having children. Um, in the black community, 51% of black men are unmarried and childless. So you're telling me out of that majority of you know men that women would even want, 51%, which is the majority, even a majority of them are going to be saying no to dating, marriage, and children. They're going to be voluntary um, participants in this new lifestyle. And that means less families. That means less security uh, from women, obviously. Men going their own way is a group of men, it's an online movement of men who choose to be single. So they're eligible bachelors and they've decided to stay single, which means they won't be pursuing a long-term relationship, they don't want to get married, they don't want to have kids, they just want to stay single and improve themselves. And you're thinking, well, we're, we're hardwired to connect and to like procreate, why are these men choosing to be single? Well. From what I've read, it's from their frustrations, the frustrations from dating, dating other women, the frustrations from, um, you know, the gender bias that they see, uh, the stereotypes.